Okay, so um, this is the second leg that we did, and this is the one we cut off. It has the seam binding on it, or hem tape, whatever you want to call it. And this is just a little review of what we did on the other leg, basically. We're going to pin this up right where we want it. And on the other leg, let's see, on this one, actually I had used the gray thread. And now that I'm pinning this up looking at it, I think I might just use some black thread that will match my hem tape. And it'll make it look really nice and professional. Just in case somebody wants to look in, inside of your pant leg and see how it's done. Okay, so let me get my needle out and enough thread to go around the leg. I like to use an, a really sharp needle on blue jeans just because if you use a dull one, it's going to be really hard to grab those little pieces. Okay. So I'm going to start right here where these have overlapped and I'm going to, I'm just going to move that thing out of the way. This is one of the few things that you kind of need to know about steam binding. Yeah. There we go. And I'm just going to grab the pants, the lower layer, and the fold all at once. And I'm actually going to make several tacks just go through this. Because I don't want that to come apart. And I don't think it's going to. I did like four. So. And I showed you how to do a whip stitch earlier. So let's just review. You grab a little piece. Go right through the side of the binding. And it's basically just. Like it says. A whip stitch. It's a blind stitch. When you flip it over. You can't see it on the outside. There we go. And we're almost finished with this.